What do the bass do when the water rises? Any time of the year. Good morning guys and girls, October 21, that's right, October 21, we're going to be looking at Proverbs, <coughs> Proverbs 21, 21. Now how'd I do that? <laughs> You'd have think that the guy that wrote this book, which is me, <laughs> you would have think I planned that. October 21, Proverbs 21, 21. Luck out. Whoever tries to live right and be loyal, to be loyal, finds life, success, and honor. See what I wrote about that. Oh yeah, we're going to talk about ESPN a little bit in here. When we started with ESPN about 25 years ago, and keep in mind, uh, we wrote this book back in 2005. We haven't been on that network in a while. But when we started on ESPN about 25 years ago, my main concern was simply staying on the network. ESPN was not really big back then at all. I think they had maybe about 20 million homes and that's about it. And I just didn't know much about the people there at ESPN. They were from the north. <laughs> I'm a redneck from the south. So I just hoped that we could get along with that network. Our relationship uh, was long standing and it was a great relationship. I believe the key is that ESPN is very loyal to their producers. And I've also been extremely loyal to them. We were on that network for 21 years and uh, uh, we worked together to do things correctly and it was really, really a good network for us. What happened with that situation at ESPN, for some of y'all that have been around for a long time and watched the show those 21 years on ESPN, was they actually got the rights to one third of the NASCAR races. And when they did, they simply got out of the outdoor marketplace. And they got back into it a little bit now with BASS and tournaments, and I'm so tickled to see them involved in that. But, uh, but they simply got rid out of the outdoors. They got rid of all the outdoor shows. I, we were actually the last show to go. I think uh, my buddy Jerry McKinnis was the next to the last show to go. And, and, uh, and, and it, but it was really a great relationship for 20 some odd years and I have all the respect and love and honor in the world for, for ESPN. They were so good for us for so long because we are on the Discovery Channel now. We are CBS Sports, the Pursuit Network, WFN, Heartland, AT&T Sports Southwest, Walk TV, YouTube Television. I'm sure I probably left some out, but I, could, I remember just about all of them. God sees loyalty as extremely important. It starts with loyalty to Him being loyal to our spouse, our kids, our church, our employer, and our friends. Loyalty is a big deal. It's a big deal to God. It might seem better sometimes to cut and run, but that's not God's way. Like the scripture said, whoever tries to live right and be loyal finds life, success, and honor. What more could you want out of living your life than to have a great life, success, and honor. Here's our tip. Here's our tip for uh, for this week or today, and it's a great one. Bass tend to scatter when water level rises, and that'll happen in the springtime. It'll happen in the fall. Uh, we haven't had much rain here in Oklahoma. We haven't had any rain all month. The entire month of October, it hasn't rained. There's no rain forecast to the end of October, so it's just horrible. The lakes are extremely low. You can just look right here. You can see the lakes are very, very low. And when that happens, bass tend have a tendency to bunch up and be in better schools. When you find one, you might find 15 or 20. When that water level rises, they're going to scatter. When they scatter, you want to use fast-moving baits, spinner baits, crank baits, uh, lipless crank baits, pull baits, something you can fish very, very fast and cover a lot of water because the bass are going to be scattered out. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I love you.